everybody, Crystal Beaudry here with Crystal's Clean Kitchen, where we help make clean eating a lifestyle. So it is harvest time here in Minnesota, and we have a lot of wild berries, which um, is amazing. <laughs> so I personally love going and walking in the woods and finding as many wild blackberries as I can. So we are going to be making some blackberry jelly today. It's sugar-free, it's keto approved, there's not very many ingredients. And actually we had a subscriber um, request this episode. So thank you so much for giving me this idea. I, don't, I wouldn't have even thought of doing it, but I love jelly, so of course it's perfect. And if you haven't checked out some of my bread recipes, make sure to go do that because I have a great keto bread recipe. I have some great grain-free ones and I'm coming out with another keto bread recipe in the future shortly here. So again, you're gonna have to subscribe because I have so many amazing episodes coming up. You guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button just so that it will help send this video to more people. And you guys, in today's episode, I'm very excited. Now, I also just posted a strawberry rhubarb jelly recipe. So check that one out too. But the, this one is going to be a little bit different than that. We're using a different thickener. Um, and so you're gonna be wa wanting to watch both of them. And then after this, we're coming out with a peach chia seed jelly recipe, which will be really cool too. So make sure to stay tuned and check out all of those. Okay, let's jump into this episode. So here's all the ingredients that we are going to need for this. We are going to be starting with some fresh blackberries. Of course, picking your own is the best, but if not, then make sure to grab organic blackberries. And I am doing four cups of blackberries. Uh, for our sweetener, I'm going to be doing a mixture of aluos and urethritol monk fruit. If you want to use a different sweetener, you certainly can. You could use honey, maple syrup, um, xylitol, anything would work. So depending upon what you are okay with eating wise. Um, I'm going to be doing a fourth of a cup of aluos and a fourth of a cup of the urethritol monk fruit. But if that's too sweet for you or if it's not as sweet enough for you, then of course you can adjust that as you need to. Um, I'm going to be doing three fourths of a cup of water, but then I'm going to be splitting it up because some of the water is going to go in with the beef gelatin to help it set. We're going to be using five teaspoons of some grass-fed beef gelatin. I personally love the Great Lakes brand. I always get their gelatin. Um, and then we'll just be using one teaspoon of some lemon. Okay, let's put this on the stove. Okay, so I put our pan on a little under medium heat. We're gonna just dump those in. All right, here's my half a cup of water. And then we're gonna let it reduce for about 10 minutes. All right, so we are going to be making the gelatin mixture. We're gonna be letting it bloom. So you want five teaspoons, two, three, four, five. All right, and then we're gonna be adding in a fourth of a cup of water. I'm just gonna stir it quick. And then we're gonna sit this aside, set this aside and just let it sit and bloom. So the blackberries are cooling down on the stove. And I am just gonna start this. I'm putting in my gelatin. I am adding in my teaspoon of some lemon, a fourth of a cup of some aluos, and a fourth of a cup of some monk fruit. Now, as with any sweetener, a lot of times it's just to taste. So if you want to, um, oh, that might be too much. Yikes. I need a bigger Ninja Chopper. All right, just gonna blend this up and then I'll have to mix it together. Okay, so I'm gonna just combine them. Now with gelatin, you're going to need to let it sit for a while and cool down before it starts to um, solidify more. So <laughs> it is. it does seem to be a little liquidy right now, but that's okay. It will thicken up, don't worry. Also, just make sure to taste it just to see if the sweetness level is where you want it. Ooh, yum. Okay, that's great. Let's let it cool down. All right, you guys, here it is. Now, it actually has to set overnight. So I know I kept checking it. Why is it still liquid? Oh yeah, that's right. It has to set overnight. So it turned out great though. You guys, I actually made some keto approved bread to go on top of it, but or for it to go on. 
Um, so that episode will be coming out soon, so make sure to stay tuned. Okay, let's give it a taste test. Mm. It's like a burst of summer. It's so good. Now, you guys, just like with the strawberry rhubarb one, this has a completely different thickener. So you could use either thickener that you would prefer. They would both work out. And in our episode next, we are going to be doing a peach chia seed jelly that is with, of course, thickening it with chia seeds. And that one is super good too. So I'm hoping that with all of these different ways to do it, once you get whatever fruit you want, you can just select which way and which sweeteners and <laughs> just give a, kind of give it a guide for that. But you guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for some more great recipes. We'll see you next time. Bye.